what's popping youtube fam today i'm finally posting a video on my naturally curly hair wash day routine that has been highly requested i will be featuring the shea moisture manuka honey and yogurt line in this video so stay tuned and keep watching so i'm just starting off with a blow-dried hair because my hair was recently in braids so starting off, I'm just going to be taking my Manuka Honey and Yogurt Hydrate and Repair Shampoo to cleanse my scalp really, really well because it is dirty and has a lot of product buildup. And this is my third time using this shampoo and so far I'm absolutely loving it. It gives my hair so much moisture which it needs because my hair can be so dry at times. And along with my shampooing routine, I like to use my vibrating scalp massaging brush. This little tool is absolutely amazing. What it does is it, exfoli <laughs> it exfoliates your scalp and gives you a really good and thorough clean. And not only does it do that, but it helps stimulate your blood flow, which helps hair growth. Uh, and who doesn't want their hair to be growing? <laughs> So I tend to like to do this process for about five minutes because it's really soothing and relaxing. Now that my scalp is super cleansed, I'm going to take the conditioner and I'm just going to run that all throughout my hair. And also while my conditioner is still in my hair, I'm just going to take a denim brush and comb the product through. This also helps in the detangling process because my hair gets really tangly, so I really suggest doing this while you're still in the shower. And now after being in the shower for almost an hour, <laughs> I'm going to rinse all of the conditioner out and I am finished with my shampooing and conditioning process. So when I get out of the shower, I like to wrap my hair up in a cotton t-shirt because it's terrible to dry your hair with a towel and it also causes frizz. So that is why I use a t-shirt. And this is just what my hair looks like before I apply anything else in my hair. And this shampoo and conditioner has moisturized my hair so well. My curls already are looking juicy. So next I'm just going to be taking the protein power treatment as my deep conditioner. It smells so good. All of the products in this line smell really, really good. Like that is like a big thing for me when I pick out a hair product. It has to smell good. So now I'm just going to be splitting my hair into two sections and I'm going to be applying that protein power treatment all over and I apply quite a bit of deep conditioner to my hair because it is so thick like I need a lot of product to get the job done. So on my wash days I always like to deep condition my hair which is two days out the week which I normally do because I don't need to wash my hair every single day but I'm not gonna really give like a thorough breakdown of how I deep condition my hair but if you would like to see a video on that then let me know down in the comments below all right now I'm just taking a wide tooth comb to comb all the product through my hair to make sure that every single strand is coated it's key a major key I also always apply extra deep conditioner in the back part of my hair, well more so my crown area because I have extreme breakage and I'm trying to work on getting that area back healthy. And also your crown area is the most exposed and also the driest area of your hair so I just like to give that part a little extra maintenance. And now I'm just going to do the exact same thing on the opposite side of my hair that I did on the other side.
Okay, so now that I'm finished with both sides of my hair, I'm going to put my hair up and put it in a deep conditioning cap, which I purchased from Target. It was $2, so if you don't have one of the thermal hotheads, this is definitely a great alternative as it does keep heat inside. So now after all of this whole process, I'm going to let my deep conditioner set for two hours. Yes, two to get deep penetration in these strands. Okay, so now after two hours, I'm just going to show y'all what my hair looks like before I wash the deep conditioner out. Curls already looking moisturized AF, yes. Okay, so now that I have rinsed all of that deep conditioner out of my hair, this is what my curls are looking like so far. This line is, I'm loving this line. Like, look at how moisturized my hair is looking already. It definitely hydrates and repairs your hair. So the last product that I'll be applying is the multi-action leave-in. It's a deep conditioner, but in a spray form, which I love. I'm gonna spritz it all over my hair and I'm just kinda, kinda gonna scrunch, kinda gonna. I'm going to scrunch it into my hair and yeah. I'm also gonna make sure that that product gets evenly distributed throughout of my hair. And like I said, I also focus mainly on my crown area because it gets really dry. And now I am completely finished applying everything. This is what my hair is looking like right now. I'm going to let it air dry for a little bit and then I'm going to go to sleep and sleep with a satin bonnet over it and I'll get back to y'all. So this is the next day and my hair is completely dried, air dried and I have picked it all out. This is what my curls are looking like. Yes, they are flourishing. And this is just what my wash days consist of. I will be posting more hair videos soon, so I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Stay tuned to my channel, and if you have not already, you already know to hit that subscribe button.